Hi guys, let me just get my lights on. Just got this new light, I wanted to review it. It's from, I think Walmart, it's uh, 15 bucks. So y'all are looking for something bright, that's low. Also goes up to a high setting and that's the yellow filter and it comes with a clear filter as well. Probably just blinded all y'all, sorry. But this is really cool. It's nice soft lighting for my video. I thought I would do different lighting tones to show my face better because I think sometimes when I film, I'm going to show you this other one I have. That one right there, it's a reading light. I think will work just a little better so you can see my face. If you want to give me any feedback on that, great. And, oh, all right, so let's just start with a simple breath in, breath out. Because I'm going to do something a little more intense today. I'm going to start off, of course, with my regular way of doing my foundation. I have to kind of work quick too because my battery is low. This is my backup battery that I did not charge. No, that's fine. And let's just start out with a nice coat. I am using my hands just for the heck of it, just because it's quick, easy, they're super clean. And uh, let's do a darker gothic look today. I'm just kind of winging it, as you can tell. I'm gonna spread this more evenly on my face. Got a lot of compliments yesterday on this face makeup. Uh, again, this is True Fit by, uh, I think it's Maybelline. It's a good foundation. It's yellow. Um, it doesn't have any pink undertones on it. And I'm going to not use any Medusa on my lids so that I can get through this look, like I said, quickly. I always seem to have a little bit like battery issues, ooh, or something like that. My Kabuki brush with a little bit of NYX powder. And that's, you know, a decent base. Buff out the whole face. This is what I use as a buffer. And let's just use this nice dark plum. I'm not going to use any lip liner. This is a Sephora product. I really like it. Came in a set of like 20. Go put it on the lips. And it, it spreads pretty evenly. Bop the lips. I think this is actually uh, my mom's favorite color. There you go. Like, like a nice berry tone. Goes well with the foundation look. And as far as doing my brows, I don't think I'm going to fill them in, but I am going to use the product that I got a little while ago that I'm actually really impressed with. It's the Brow Tamer by Urban Decay. Go ahead and just swipe that over the brows gently if you can. Just like this. And it's a little bit difficult to get it all on the eye, but you can just wipe any excess away. Go ahead and let that dry a little bit before you start applying anything else. And let's do bronzer selfie. This is Rue 21. That's a Florida product. Really good. You can go ahead and put the bronzer anywhere. As you can see, I'm just going to use, you can use the lighter tone. I really like this light tone on the nose and on the forehead. Use the medium tone, kind of over the cheek and just give yourself that nice rounded bronzy hue. A little on the nose doesn't hurt. It's really good stuff. And then let's do the Love Your Selfie Kit by Rue21. Uh, yep, and I'm using Real Techniques brushes. I am so jittery because I ate a donut instead of just eating the good stuff that you're supposed to have in the morning. Being really quiet for some reason, I think that's because my and it's awesome. So glad it's a Saturday. I'm just using the neutrals, by the way, in the top part of the palette to fill in my eyes. This palette's like four dollars. Let's use the matte white just to go a little bit over the top. And then we can use let's use the gold. I'm using the same brush again, kind of a technique I like to use when I'm going pretty quick. Gold all over the eyes, just really nice. And then let's use the matte shade over that just to kind of create just a little bit of a nice blended, not too shimmer shine look. I'm going to take the bottom 